Can I have yours or? Scoring all of these cassette drawers. This one's in pretty good nick too. Love these bloody things. Love me cassettes. <laughs> Yeah, good selection here. We've got an American um, market in Max Seller 60 Minute. It's got some as compensation recorded onto it. Some 60s of Akai. Not bad selection of tapes, but there's a, um, a lot of 60 minutes here more than I've got 90s. A really good one. A Type 2. So the tip shop is very good for stuff like this. That's the only place where they're the most commonly going to find for sex. Always go there. I'm addicted to the bloody place. It's um, you just yeah, it's just like uh, kind of like going to the scrapyard sort of thing. You know, if you see something good, you gotta have it. There is a lot of um, really good, awesome stuff there, but nothing um, some stuff like uh, speakers, uh, hi-fi gear. But it's not quality hi-fi. It's just modern speakers, like just low-end stuff from the seventies, which are they're in pretty rough shape anyway, and they're too expensive for me. I only get the smaller more high-end stuff, which I just recently picked up. Like the uh, tape decks, I haven't seen any there for a while. So they do come up from time to time, but I keep my eyes peeled. So I've got a good album there, rock set. I pick out the good ones. There's a lot of this crap of this pre-recorded stuff. A lot of it's just crap, but you do find some good ones amongst them all. So I always go through them for the fine teeth cane every time I go there. And I see a new stash of cassettes, so I just go through them on a fine tooth, like with a fine teeth cane. The quality of TAC tape. A lot of these old vintage uh, TDKs, that Dean Martin. Good old Sony vintage auto sensor tape. Look at that. Some cassette mechanisms uh, think this might have been specific to Sony, where you had a sensor on a certain tape deck that flipped it over like an 8 track. That's cool. This is in need of a repair, it's missing the uh, cushion there. Yeah, it's not the original case. That tape's going to get repaired. So I've got to repair that. Pretty cool, so it's a nice feature. I never had that in the cassette. I've heard of it, but that's the first one I've actually got with that foil on it. Pop the builder. But it's good quality um, TDK 90 tape. Look at these. Good old uh, TDKs, all the same. So. You do get some quality cassettes for next to nothing. I always just get a bunch of them and make up a nice pack and just get them at a, at a, a bargain. Just get a whole pack of them. A mixed bag of tapes. That's a good tape. These are good tapes. Phillips. Air Supply. A great track. A great uh, love band. That's a nice tape. Quality uh, late 70s TDK Air Supply. Good band. So, yeah, I've got some good classics on these. Uh, I always go after the, these recorded ones. Someone's actually recorded them, made their mixtape. Because a lot of them have got some interesting songs on them. Play Climbers album. I've got that. It was nice and cheap. Uh, there's the shell's a bit bent up. It doesn't play very good. I had to hold it in a certain angle and it plays absolutely fine. So the recording, the magnetic tape itself is A-OK. -okay. I'm going to re uh, re-shell this tape. So. The recording is in very good condition, the tape itself is not damaged, so just got to reshell it. So that's a good save. I'll uh, get another crappy cassette, a donut cassette, and reshell that. This is a, the, the Seekers, good Australian band. From the late 60s, this, uh, this band. Good Australian band, have good songs. Good Australian made tape too. What else have we got here? Star Wars. The foam is a bit cheap on that one. Got to repair that. Star Wars. You got to have Star Wars. I had to grab that one. Couldn't pass that one here up. Party Starters. That's nice, cool tracks on that one. I thought this was interesting. Good old 60s uh, music here. I did pick up one or two of these along the, uh, amongst these. Epic recordings. Like the old vinyl records. I always pick up a good old vintage tape. A lot of these, these 60s, very good ones in. Good old Fuji, these are good tapes. These sound really nice. There's another two of them there, but one's a 90, so you got another one there. They're good tapes. These are good tapes too. These all sound pretty damn good, so 
when I see a good recorded or recordable tape or someone's next tape, it's a good brand, I'll grab it. There's a lot of cheap older ones, but I don't go after the low end tapes because yeah, they don't sound very nice. So I always go after the higher end stuff, which sound really good. I also um, look at their speaker stash. They've got a whole just 50 or 100 odd speakers that always come in. A lot of them was just Chinese junk, like white van trash, but occasionally you do see ones like this. I sort of, yeah, they did look interesting, look like half fi solid speakers. I picked them up, quite heavy and solid. Ken Mark, made in China, weatherproofed for use outdoors. You got the little bracket that screws on there. Model MDL52. 8 ohms, 80 watt. I tested these on my pile amp, 90 watt amp, and bass the crap out of them. No rattles, and just distortion only from the, that amp. But these actually sound quite nice. All in good condition, plastic cones. I can't get these grills off because the one of um, one's rattled because it's been dropped, unfortunately. People just go through the speakers and they just don't care. It's been dropped on its corner. Other than that, they sound good with no, absolutely no rattles or leaks whatsoever. There's, um, yeah, as I said, 90% of the speakers today are just trash. Like just white fans trash and just cheap stuff from Kmart or Big W or Target. Hi-Fi systems that are just really cheap, no-name stuff. They have got some vintage record player speakers there, but they're only low-end. And they're only... In pretty rough shape, so I don't really bother unless they're really high end and in good nick, then I'll grab them. They did have a did have a set of Technics speakers there, but they sold those for nearly two hundred dollars. Which yeah, I only buy them if they're cheap. These ones here actually got for five bucks. So these do make good little uh, bookshelf uh, speakers or computer speakers. They sound awesome. And I don't mind a bit of uh, dirt and, and moisture, so, yeah, perfect. There's under a million different brands. I've seen these, the um, mall, or the old uh, shopping mall used to have these. Now those, they use Sonos and Bose speakers, but before they used to use ones like this, that actually, actually are weatherproof. The ones I see now are just Sonos speakers, but yeah, they're not ever really going to be uh, as weatherproof as these are, so... They are made in China, but they actually sound very nice. They're quality stuff. No brackets, so. But they only go up on the corners and stuff. Go in gazebos and verandas and stuff. People use it for party speakers, and actually, yeah. Good bad bargain. Okay, well, our neighbour's ferrets escaped again. They are apparently, yeah, where we were in Taiwan, they, um, yeah, their ferret was in my, behind my shed. So, I'll go have another look. Let's see if he's there today. Anyway, that concludes the video about these scores. They were dusty, I cleaned them up. Yeah, as I said, well worth the score, well worth the purchase. I do um, look hard and think about it hard when I buy speakers. Anyway, happy with that. Thanks for watching.